going live in 11 seconds. Three. Three, two, one. Places. Quiet on the set. Hi, this is Howard. I'll be your host for the next almost four hours as we navigate the great American songbook along with my co-host and president of WBIG-TV, Ryan Lysars. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our broadcast, especially you rerun watchers out there. That's right. We're addressing really just the rerun watchers right now because there is a slight delay before uh, this is visible to the viewing public. As we call this Lounge Academy session to order. I like that microphone you got over there. Well, thank you. Um, I do too. This was a gifted to me by uh, our, our own uh, official WBIG TV engineer, George Apfel. Wow. And Kevin Hayes from Buffalo Reuse. Uh, came, uh, George brought it over and, and presented it to us uh, at the booth at our public, public reception booth that we keep out in front of this studio here. And uh, it's incredible. It is. It's a great mic, and I think it's really improved our sound. It's, uh, it's transistorized, it says on it. This is a new feature, too. I'm going to plug in. This is the modern meets the old. And no, I'm not talking about Richard Lambard, or Paul Cambria. We're talking about this old uh, Turner microphone. I'm going to switch. Here we go. Our Turner microphone here, right next to our USB rig. That sounds wonderful, Paul Cambria. I agree, even I don't know what it is. Richard Lambert's here, ladies and gentlemen. And whenever Mr. Show Business enters a piano bar, they play Misty. The Lounge Academy is no exception to that rule. If I can remember how it goes. And Jack Ruby shared the taste with Richard Lambert. He's Richard Lambert. All of a sudden, the, the stars are realigned. Last week was kind of an oddball week, Ryan Lysars. Even though Mary's not at the piano side right now, so that's a little weird. I would imagine last week was weird because I wasn't here. It was very weird, and the whole the whole night was weird. But it, it was a nice weird. We had a great time, but it was just a, a lot, it was just way different than you know. Every week is different because we never know. Right, there are no two weeks that are the same. No, they're like snowflakes. A lot of our guests are like flakes. That's what makes it interesting. And that's the beautiful thing about show business. We're all a little flaky, right, Melissa Grace? The thing that I find Speaking of Darlene, our Darlene. Oh. Hi, Darlene. Hi, Darlene. Nice to see you lounging with us. And Yes, that's right, Barry. Misty. How's your back? How's your, uh, if you don't mind me asking in front of all these people? I think they all care about the same issue. Make sure you're all right. Of course. We're going to 
to be here till we're going to be here. It's good to talk kind of, you know, properly. You know what I mean? Proper. What do you call that? What do you call that, all you theater people out there? Is that elocution? The way you get your words out? Or does that mean something else? Electrocution? With all these wires around here, that could happen too. You need your proper electrocution. You have to have your proper electrocution so that people can understand you, not just when you're singing, but when you're just, just talking. Guten Abend. I'm not sure what that means. I'll look it up, I'll Google it. The thing that strikes me is that I only missed one week. And two weeks ago when we were sitting here at this time, it was light outside and there was sun. And now it's dark. You're right. Is it supposed to change that fast? And we haven't even gone back for uh, falling back for the daylight savings time. No. So we're, we're really coming into the, the fall, winter season. Quickly. Lounge Academy. The, the, the uh, darkness is coming earlier and earlier. I mean, you're right. Yeah, now it's back to the way I usually think of Lounge Academy. Right. We where it's just, dark out. We were just commenting on how it should be dark at this time, and it wasn't. And now look, it's dark. Good evening, Christine. Christine Santora, ladies and gentlemen. Nancy Cardillo, who's now referred to as the married one. Congratulations once more. You might be wondering where Mary is. Um, it's no big deal. She's she's at the Statler. We were just at the Statler, and I, I we finished up. But um, we've got a special, big special guest. Right. And Mary's kind of playing her handler. Yes. Mary would not leave our special guest behind. That would not be right. You know. No. It's not what we do here. We don't want to leave her behind. Behind. <laughs> And of course, we're talking about Justine Jopp, ladies and gentlemen. Who, as you will see, is wearing a lovely orange dress. That's perceptive of you, you know? Um, you're right, she was wearing an orange dress. Yes. I, like most guys, would, would just not do well like being called to identify people to like a police sketch artist. You know? I more record their innermost feelings rather than the superficiality of if they just got a haircut or had a mustache or not. She does not have a mustache. I did notice no. that. Justine Jopp does not. And she's multi-talented. And she's not only, you know, um, a great decoration for Lounge Academy. I think we'd all agree on that, right? She, the, the camera loves Justine Jopp, as, as do the Lounge Cadets. Um, but um, she always, you know, unleashes a new talent, like selling cars. Yes, it's incredible. She, and, yeah. And our very own Matt Chavez is with us. How are you, sir? It's always a pleasure. Speaking of married guys. Yes. Matt, Matt got hitched recently, did, did he not? I don't know. Did he? <laughs> or, or, did, or is he about to? I think he did. <laughs> Let's ask him. You know, that's a big step. I know, like, I never thought I would do it, Matt. He's grilling. 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 Is that what you kids call it now? You newly wet crazy kids? <laughs> Grilling is a good thing. He did. He did get married. I thought so. We're proud of you, Matt. Yes, congratulations. He's quite a guy, that Matt. I like Matt.
His name is Matt Chavez. He's grilling with some Chavettas. Not to be confused with Chavez. He's got a grill he calls home. And he likes he likes the food we all like here. He likes the lard and donuts. He likes to grill. It's the essence of this place. It's the essence. And from Toronto, ladies and gentlemen, it's Diane Woodruff. Now, Diane is supposed to be um, coming to Buffalo to do a, uh, a walk on. That would be lovely. Again. I don't think it's this week. I think it's, is it next week? They purposely keep me in the dark so that we'll have that, well, you know, so we have that spontaneity on the show. This is unrehearsed, ladies and gentlemen. Buffalo guys, thank you so much for the smiles. Sending all their love. Sending it back, Matt, Mr. Chavez, Mr. and Mrs. Chavez. Part of the show where we're kind of like kind of questioning our own place on, on the planet and in particular on Lounge Academy where we're wondering I wonder what guests are gonna, going to surprise us this evening. This is my favorite part of the show. You know in a way it is for me too. Um, Maybe maybe it is my favorite. The, the, I like our little roundtable discussions we start the show with. Yes, and meanwhile the anticipation is building. We don't know who will walk through that door. We don't. Yeah, we don't know or accurately next. who I have to let in the door because it's locked. Is it? Did I lock it? I don't know. I'm going to lock the door. That'll guarantee people will come. Right. The closed sign and the locked door. Yeah, if you don't have those, nobody will show up. That is true. My instincts were correct. The door was not. Well, see, there you go. That's why nobody's here. Well, it's not that unusual. It's not unusual for nobody to be here um, right now. It's unusual for Mary to not be here. Well, she's Usually on, the three of us are here. She's on special assignment. She is. She's handling Justine Jock to make sure she doesn't stray off and not, not get to the studio. Right, we need to get her back here. She's in demand. People will pull her in all kinds of directions, you know, when she's in a public place. A locked door makes good neighbors, Bill Zimmerman. That is so wise. Nice to see GT here. How's the signals, GT? Everything good? Your uh, Turner mic seems to be working pretty good here for us. Hello, GT. Come down and see us sometime, will ya? He's gonna buy a place close to us just so he can be in Lounge Academy right now as a regular player again. Regular Lounge Academy playhouse player. Well, this is the part of the show where, you know, we usually, like, get set up and get everything working, but it, it's all working. I've got my drink. Yeah, you've had surprisingly few technical difficulties tonight with that. That is true. With that tablet there. I took some memory out of it. Maybe it needed more memory. This is the first time using a USB with it, so I thought that would probably, like, throw everything off. Maybe that's what you needed all along. Maybe. Yeah. Barbara Fisher. It's Barbara Fisher. Barbara Fisher. Ask a baby not to cry. It's Barbara 
Take it easy and get make sure uh, you get your money's worth out of that uh, little procedure you had done. We need you in good shape for the 2020 season. When does that start? Well, I guess in a hundred. live stream here so yeah no it's not like I, we're not like mo automotive model years how did they ever get away with that setting their own no, not now it calendar. doesn't even there is no standard for it. it used to be like September then all of a sudden it was the new year but now it's just whenever you feel like it so are, are the new uh, 2020s out some of them have been out for months some of them are not out yet some of them just came out it's a free-for-all. I just uh, brought out my 69. I think legally you can sell a vehicle of the next model year beginning in January of the preceding year. I see. It's very confusing. For I'm instance, this stuff this is a conversation Justine Jopp could help yes. mop up when she gets over here. The 2001 Oldsmobile Aurora debuted in January of 2000. Well, that was quite a car, too. Fun fact. Now, Barbara Fisher is, she's home tonight. She's in North Carolina, and she's, she's packing. I'm glad we could help you pack with, with our, you know, show. And she's heading to, for New York on Monday. Are, are you going to be going to the uh, <laughs> to the piano cabaret bars, like the Cafe Carlisle? Last time she took us in there and watched us while she was in the Cafe Carlisle. I think so. We should. could say we played the Cafe Carlisle. She should come here. Why? Well, I, I know, absolutely, but I don't want to be. I don't want to. Pastor. Well, I know she wants to be here. The Cafe Carlisle is an okay substitute for Lounge Academy. Yeah, I'd say. The 69, that's a, it's a 69 AMX, American Motors. Two-seater, big block. And my designated drinker is tuning in, Brian McLaughlin. How are you, sir? Suter. Is there anything, any questions uh, from the uh, lounge cadets tonight that are tuning in? Uh, oh, yeah, we should probably start rolling with all the songs. We should have a Q&A night one of these times. A Q&A night. It's a good idea. Or we can have like an advice show. We could give advice. I think we've got a lot of life experience between us. We're kind of good at different things, you know? Right. There's not, I don't think there's any overlapping with our abilities. <laughs> no, not much. She is going to the Carlisle. She calls it the Carlisle. Well, that's what the regulars call it. She'll play a rerun. I know you can't wait to be back, Barbara. Is Woody Allen going to be? Is Woody Allen going to be there at the Cafe Carlisle? Is he still playing out? I don't know. I thought he was there at one time. Place has a, what a history that place is. Mostly because of Bobby Short. Now the, the big question for all time is Bobby Short or Jackie Jocko? Mm. Who was if there was a king. 
Well, I, I think I, just by virtue of who and where we are, I'm going to have to go with Jackie Jocko, but. Well, I, I, I do too, but I, I you know. You know, I think there could be an honest, you know, yeah. a, a thing is a lot of the people that followed, and there were a lot of people, followed each of them and didn't really follow. You know, it's like, they're very loyal, you know. Um, like my dad smoked Winston's. Right. And my uncle Jake smoked Camel Regular. And they wouldn't, I don't remember them ever borrowing a cigarette from each other. I mean, they go to the store, say, I'll be right back and then come back instead of just saying, you know, yeah, I'll have well, one no, of yours. You wouldn't do that, no. So I think it's that's how it is with lounge pianists. Oh, Woody, Woody is playing on Monday. Oh, wow. And she's waitlisted. Amazing. Wow, that's great. That'd be exciting to see him. I mean, I know he just, like, I think he just sits there and plays like he's just one of the, you know, I don't think he like shows off or like starts doing bits, but it's just, you know, just to see that. I'd like to see that. I should add that to my bucket list. Well, it's not really my bucket that I'm worried about so much as Woody Allen's bucket, but still. What about Woody Allen's bucket? Well, I'm running out of time to see Woody Allen, so I should put it on my bucket list. Oh, but a yeah. bucket list is like oh. what you do before you die, but... Yeah, well, we know. none of us know no, what's could, happening. I, I could go next week. All we know is it hasn't happened. Nice to see Gretchen Krakow, one of the great lounge cadets, of course. better go on. Maybe we better play some music. That might be why people are here. It could be. I just never can really accept that. Or maybe not. Why? Why shouldn't I take a chance when romance passes by? shouldn't I? And I shouldn't weave 
Guy Valeri off that list of top tier. I was just thinking that. No way. No. Where, did, where does he fall? In right there. He's right there. It's just kind of like, like you said, do you smoke Winston's, Camel's, Marlboro's? Yeah. Except with those guys, you, you get, you know, a lot from each of them, you know? Where, you know, maybe people should have smoked all three brands of cigarettes. Well, that's me. When I used to smoke cigarettes, I didn't believe in brand loyalty. Every pack or every carton would be different. Based on what's on sale? Just, just for the sake of being different. I wanted variety, as much variety as I could get. Wow. Whereas your typical it's a great smoker, philosophy on life. They have a, a brand and they stick to it. So in the realm of lounge performers, I guess I would have experienced all of them and liked them equally. Tell us what brand of cigarette you smoked. If anybody smoked Bel Airs, I will be impressed. Oh, really? Was that a challenging cigarette? Was it's, that a it, menthol? It, yes, it was a menthol, and it's also a forgotten cigarette and a discontinued cigarette. I like the name. It had clouds on the package. Yeah, it sounds kind of, you know... I always kind of wonder who smoked those. You know? Did women smoke? No, it was men smoked Bel Air. It's sophisticated men. I think it was a kind of sophisticated brand image. Wasn't it? Was it not? Yeah, I, I was never sophisticated enough to pull it off. Thing does, you know, I haven't seen anybody do this in a long time, probably because they'd smash the car because a pack of cigarettes is worth like $400 now. It's worth more than stealing the tires. But uh, we used to, you know, you'd, especially if you did not smoke, you'd grab a pack of like camel regulars. Because the, the... With no filter? The hard guys. <laughs> yeah. The hard guys smoke camel. With no filter. No filter. Like Paul Regulars. Hall, no filter. That's what a regular is, right? Regular. My, like my Uncle Jake. He had hair coming out of him everywhere. That's how regular guy he was. And you'd leave a pack on your, um, on your dashboard. I used to do that on my Oldsmobile, just to look hard. And yeah. I remember uh, David Van Stone, who, who knows, he might be listening tonight, my... my my uh, lifelong and childhood friend. Um, I remember one time he came to visit. And I, I still had that Oldsmobile. And it, it, it only had like half of an exhaust system. So you, you really got fumed out of the car. There was no way. And like, you know, you open the windows and it would just make it worse. Right. Just suck more in. And he borrowed my car. And he said it got so bad he lit one of those cigarettes. <laughs> Because <laughs> it, it, it seemed like fresh air compared to the fumes. Uh, I can identify with that. Now, it's past. I'm beginning concerned about um, Paul Kokoda. Yeah, where's our, my chief pilot engineer, chief engineer, navigator? He might not be coming unless he's there. Unless there's a holdup at the pizza joint. I was just going to say. Literally, there might be a holdup. It's on Niagara Street. Ricotta's on Niagara. Niagara Ricotta's on Niagara. We'd like to thank Ricotta's on Niagara for the fine pizzas they've been sending over. And for sending over Paul Kokoda with them. Is there any songs you guys want to hear from old stuff? Here's one. Hey, Zach's out there. We better get busy. No Hi, more Zach. goofing off. This heart of mine was doing very well. The world was fine. As far as Zach could tell. 
Suddenly I met you and I dreamed of gay amour. At dawn I woke up singing sentimental overture. This heart of mine is dancing gaily now. I taste the wine of real romancing now. This crazy world is taking on a wonderful design. As long as life endures, it's yours, this heart of mine. in the works? Yeah, but we could get an after-dinner rush. An after-dinner, uh, yeah. I didn't think about restaurant week, but I was at my favorite midweek haunt, and it was surprisingly uncrowded, and then I was informed that maybe nobody was there because of restaurant week. I didn't really think anybody went to restaurant week, but could be. Now, does uh, Kmart's have a snack bar? I don't think they do. Not anymore. Well, not around here. Um, I've been trying to do some research into this. I have identified at least three locations with a Little Caesars inside, but as far as the traditional Kmart cafe, they may exist somewhere, but I have not identified. See, them. now, ladies and gentlemen, he's been researching that, whether or not uh, Kmart has food service, and this is the first time he and I have ever broached this subject, yet he was already on it. That's how he got to be the president of WBIG-TV. He can anticipate trends. Yes, I've done a lot of research into this, you know. You have. I, I remember when Kmart used to have the traditional cafeteria-style food where you'd grab a tray and you'd get Salisbury steak, instant potatoes, and some peas. But those days ended, and maybe that's maybe they, that's what did them in. Many of them converted to a little Caesars format, but there were still some, like in West Seneca, where you could get your traditional hot dogs and burgers and pizza and breakfast foods. You could get scrambled eggs, bacon, and they were known for their all-you-can-eat pancake special. Wow, Kmart. We have a, our own Kmart historian here, as you can see. Yeah, don't get me started on Kmart. We'll do a separate show for that. It's nice to see Tom O'Hara lounging tonight, sir. And our own Bob Coster. I think it's a thumb. It's hard to tell with these glasses. This is the smallest uh, um, house cast I think we've ever had it uh, at this hour. Well, it's not even eight yet. It's not even eight. After yeah. everybody finishes with their discounted dinner, well, that's they're going to flood in. And you know, and we, we haven't been streaming. We've only been streaming for, uh, I don't know, a, a year and a half, which is only a, a short part of our long history. And uh, 
before live streaming, we just we just wouldn't have started yet. Right. We'd be sitting there stuffing our faces and would not be aware of this. So so yeah, this may not be unprecedented. Yeah, we just can't sit around and stuff our faces. No, because the thing clicks on automatically. Right, right, Kim? Reifenberg and Bill Jenkins, they know how this works. comes Paul Kokoda. He parks where the FBI parks does across have, the street. Does he have something with him? He's opening the hatch of his vehicle. I hope there's a pizza. Either that or he'll have like a ton of wings. Yeah, but it's pie night. Oh, it's pie night. He oh, I see. So pizza pie would yes, qualify. Yes, he, he was informed of this. He's, he's screwing around. Now he's back leaning into his his driver's door. Such a suspense. I see a I see a pizza box, ladies oh. and gentlemen. Hey. If I had the uh, booth camera wired in, I could I would be able to switch to it, but I do not. That was close. Well, you better let him in. I thought we might not have a pizza tonight. Ricotta pizzas here. It's nice to see Mr. Cole back, sir, David. Nice to see you. As you can see, there's one. This is the pizza cam right there. Nice to see you, Paul Dakota. Very good. Paul always hits the ground running when he gets here. He knows right what he's got to do. Well, this time he's heading for the men's room. That's, that counts. Usually he goes right for the fridge. That looks like a beautiful ricotta pizza from Niagara Street. Diane Elizabeth. wonderful tonight. She looks like a pizza. So good. 716-768-8966 if you'd like a pizza just like ours. Tom Lounge Academy sent you. Maybe you get a discount. See now Paul's not going to let me screw around with this. He's going to come up with some zinger, zinger songs. The, the fun and games are over. Fun and games are over. And how now it's David Vernon's David Vernon's in the lounge. One of my favorite singers. cadets out there. Check out some of David Vernon's. Uh, I know most of you have, uh, but uh, dig some David Vernon. He's on Facebook, and there's links to his, his albums and CDs and things, and videos that he's done. And he does some really nice stuff with Alex Leonard, too. Those are some of my favorite things. And uh, how you doing, David? Nice to see you, sir. He's also a fashion designer. He's just an all-around ultra hyper creative guy, right? That's what we like to see. He's just pure, he's pure creativity. Everything's original. Everything he touches. His music sounds like nobody else. His fashion designs are like nobody else. Mainly because nobody else can do it the way he does it. Well, maybe 
maybe we'll pick some songs out to kind of preempt uh, Paul Kokoda's requests. Oh, I got one here. You can pick some. Always got one. one. What is it? This is always. What a great you know song it? to start with. You know what? Yeah, it's a very, very hipsterish song. Oh. Isn't that a great one? It is. That's Harry Warren, by the way. Oh, wow. Amazing. How do you write something like that? He did it countless times. <laughs> is it in that book? See, now this is a song I would normally do like at the end of the night when I'm really in the zone. You know? So it'll be fun getting into the zone very early. Fine, it's good. You don't have to hurry because it's just three of us. <laughs> Will do, David. For now. We're holding that fort down. I've been thinking up some more songs that I'm going to request for, for David Vernon. Um, on his, uh, he's on this uh, music service, one of these apps. I was going to join it, David Vernon. Well, I'll talk to you about it when you get back. Let me know when you're back. Sometimes this is always. Melissa Grace is here, ladies and gentlemen. And Jack, we're in luck tonight. This isn't maybe. She's on her way. And because of Chet Baker's girlfriend. Did Chet Baker do that song? Yeah. Well, he had such so did his girlfriend. Did he? Yeah. He sang like his trumpet lines. It was the same phrasing, you know, that's what came out of him. This is love. I 
Just singing that song. I, I suspected you might know that one. Well, well, yeah. Obviously, I don't know it, but I'm familiar with it, and I and I love the song. So do I. T Bone's with us. Right. Nice to see you, Jack. Looking good. You look great. You guys look like like a health poster. Yeah. Not that you shouldn't. It's not like you looked like crap last time. Right? No. Oh. But, but uh, you know, but you look great. Don't they, everybody? Well, let me give you a better look here. Of the, you're tired of looking at the pizza, I'll bet. Starts to like freak out. Right. So, no. Sharp though, I got I, 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 I wish I could tell you you look like garbage because you're not wearing a tie, but uh, darn it, I gotta admit, you, you, you still pull it off somehow. He's totally lying. He's lying? He's saying that I don't keep his clothes clean and pressed. If you're feeling fancy free, are you feeling fancy free, Jack? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, Come I'm, wander I'm, through I'm, the world I'm with me. Thing.
I never did this one before. If you're feeling, if you're feeling fancy free, wander through the world with me, and any place we chance to be will be our rendezvous to for the road. Memories The way we please
I gladly move the earth for you to prove my love, dear, and it's worth for you. If that isn't love, it'll have to do till the real thing comes along. I just can't make you understand. I'll always love you, darling. I'm what may. My heart is yours. What can Dave Corbett say? I'd sigh for you. I'd cry for you. I'd tear the stars down from the sky just for you. If that is well, it's going to have to do. The real thing's coming along. Hank Mancini? No, not Hank. Man Hollinger. Now, that, I should have asked you who did this one. I don't know. I'm this is a, like a whole roofing crew did it. I don't recognize any of the names. Do you have the names? Man Hollinger. Alberta Nichols, Sam, Sammy Kahn, so he, so he did it. He did the work. Sal Chaplin and Ellie Freeman. That's why we're at Lounge Academy. We learn new things. Let's invite that committee back. Yeah. They probably were just getting together drinking or something and playing poker and rolling a song. Right, Karen Lizzie? And Richard Canamella, my old school chum. Hank Mancini, two for the road. We're just picking on some new material here. This one? Yes, yes, yes. This is fantastic. I better not. I mean, I've never heard it. The permission to do this book is. Your lover is gone, man 
she's gone. Speaking of God. That's, I guess that's a question we've all been trying to answer. Will there be a new song to let to fill us in on the end? It's, it's kind of like pie. Does she ever come back? There are no songs in it. It's like pie. The, the math formula. There's no, no. That's the way I interpret it. I think he's screwed. You're at Lounge Academy right now. That's the where or when. Nice to see Janice. Wow. Welcome. We got a great, we got some viewer mail. And we're going to do tonight's episode, ladies and gentlemen, including, uh, speaking of Janice Schlau, uh, some viewer mail from Janice Schlau. We're going to be opening to show you. So we'll, we'll tease you with that to keep, keep you around. Seems we stood and talked like this before. We looked at each other with that same way then. But I can't remember when or when. But I can't remember where okay, I have no idea. or when <laughs> some things that happened for the first time seem to be happening again. Understand. 
I'm the man who must be free. And now at once I lost my breath. All at once we scared to death. All at once I own the earth and I own the sky. Now I've met Miss Jones and we'll keep on meeting till we die. Miss Jones and I. One of the beautiful songs, isn't it, North Dakota? Song that means a lot to me. Inspired 
now they're just now they're just routine I'm afraid the masquerade is over and so it's Guess I'll have to play Pagliacci and get myself a clown's disguise and learn to laugh like Pagliacci with tears in my eyes. You look I'm afraid the masquerade is over, and so is love. Thank you to all the wonderful dancers on the dance floor. It's really a who's who here tonight. Barbara Fisher, Jack Morrow, Barbara Fisher. Let a million ferns go under. I am not concerned with stocks and bonds that I have been burned with. I love you and you love me and that's how it will always be. Nothing else can ever mean a thing. Who cares what the public shatters? Love's the only thing that matters.
Sinatra for his last album on Columbia. You're watching Lounge Academy. Hi, Lou Berry. Nice to see you, sir. Thanks for lounging with us. We'll be lounging till. 11 o'clock, lounge time here in Buffalo. We start at 7.15 every Friday. We work our way through what they now call the Great American Songbook. They used to just call these songs back in our parents' day. These were the great songs. Some of the greatest artistic triumphs of, of America. And that makes you a lounge cadet. Here's a Rogers and Hart song. We used to do this one years ago. Andy Jones used to request this one. So I go that we meet every day. And we couldn't 
times have changed since the last time to my joy and delight it's a new kind of love at first sight oh it's you and the time all the time Increasingly sweet, ever be happy to be. I greet you with a song in my heart. I be But it soon is a hymn to your grace when the music swells. I'm touching your hand. It tells me you're. Heaven opens its portals to me, and I help but rejoice. Let a song such as ours came to me, but it always knew I would. Touching your hands, it tells me you're standing here <laughs> at the sound of your voice. Heaven opens its portals to me. And I help but rejoice that a song such as ours came to me. But I always knew I would live life through. Spring is here. What a classic. Spring is here. As long as we're pretending spring is here. That is the way the weather is. This is for Kathy Moses. I always think of Kathy Moses when I think of spring arrival. How could you not? 
If I, if I looked at you, and begin to sing, I you, Janice. I'm not as crazy as I seem to be. There's a chunk of cow in there. <laughs> That's the way we do things here. Look at her go. You already ate your pie. Well, you do have to have some of that whipped cream for sure. You don't even need pie to eat the whipped cream. Well, thank you, Vicky. Gaia, I get to call her Gaia. You're too kind, Gaia. Thank you for that, for the generous support of Lion County. Where did you get the Stick around because we're going to have viewer mail tonight a little later uh, featuring Janice, Janice's letter. I already know what's in it. I'm trying to contain myself here so I don't give it away. Thank you very much, Janice. Really, well, I'll talk about it later. I don't want to get over emotional right now. I won't be able to sing these emotional songs. 
Let's see what we got here. I'll probably be here tomorrow. Shake, shake, shake here. Because we're working on Okay. A topic for all of the items. It is. We need a beat. I'm sorry. Always go downtown. <laughs> you better ch chuck that. I, I think it's probably a count by now. Was that uh, All right, so you have a little bit of shaking. Oh, geez, All right, I had to shake her. Yeah, I if it is, I did not know that. Come on, come on, come on. This is not going to shake itself. Well, shake it. Get the music going. All right, what are you? We got a new producer of the show, ladies and gentlemen. I love this. This just shows up every okay. four weeks, five weeks. It's been longer than that. Well, this, year, this is going to be a slow shake. It's been like three months. Like a fool. Oh, well, it's too slow. I believe <laughs> what I want to do. Just break it up and into thirty second notes. What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? My foolish hearts can see what foolish hearts can see. I thought I found a miracle. I thought that you adore me. But it was not a miracle. It was a miracle which cream before me. You are too beautiful. My dear, to be true. Really? I am a fool for beauty, fooled by a feeling, as I had found you, I could have bound you too. You are too beautiful, more one man alone. of their own to see with love love does not stand sharing not if not if one cares Show? No, it was rather than a Broadway. See, I, I may have mentioned you. Rogers and Hardy were that group two years. They really didn't like it. And then they went back to New York and started for the music. 
But that came from the what a story. That never went anywhere. That's why nobody knows that song. Are you going to be our first case? It's wonderful to see a guy. Huh? It's great to see Tom Capo in the lounge tonight, sir. As always. to my head and you linger like a haunted refrain. This goes out to Mari McNeil. She made the song famous. And I find you spinning round in my brain like the bubbles in a glass of cheap champagne. of sparkling burgundy brew at the very mention of you like a kicker in the big wazoo Inventing the chicken wing. Here's one we've never done. It's a nice song. Kana, you took advantage of me. I'm a sentimental fool that's all. What's the use of trying not to fall? I have to wait. You made your kill because you took advantage of me. 
I'm just like an apple on the bow, 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 apple on the bow, bow. The, the bow of a tree. I've got an apple tree. And we got apples hanging there. They're delicious. They're on the bow. What's the you gonna shake me? Down somehow. What's the use? You cooked my goose. You took advantage of me. I'm so hot and bothered that I don't know my elbow from my ear. I suffer something awful each time you go and much worse when you're near Here I am with all my all my bridges burned Just a baby in arms where Justine's concerned You lock the door Call me yours Honey, you took advantage of me. But when you buy a car, she'll never take advantage of you. Unfortunately. It's not a package deal. It's not part of the extended service extended service plan. But every time it breaks or you want it, your recalls taken care of, she's there. She'll make the process more pleasant for you. It already is. How's the uh, whipped cream? South Dakota. The homemade. This is lounge made whipped cream. This is corrections on how to be a happy camper. So follow this. like a real tough guy, you know? But then, um, I took him for a car ride to the vet. Oh, yeah. He knows where it's going. He wasn't happy with that. Well, I don't think he, he couldn't have known where he was going because it was the first time. But he was so used to being, you know, in our, in our home. They don't like going anywhere. He was flipping out. Yeah, he was just, he was just, he didn't trust, but, you know, thought I was going to play some really horrible practical joke on him. Next time I'll bring the cinder block on the car seat. I think that might have been it. You'd be so nice to come home to. You'd be so nice by your block. Singing lullaby, you'd be all I could desire with the stars chilled by the winter, August moon burning above. You'd be so nice, you'd be paradise to come home to. Are great, aren't they? They are. We have three. 
Three, wow. What a team that must be. You've got three now? Yeah, we got three. We lost my old girl about a year and a half ago. Oh, sad. They're all such individuals. You never can get older like that. Well, we got we got one that we really well. Um, she's now wearing a flea collar, but I'm wearing a couple of slashes. Oh, oh. Emmy, yeah. Good job getting that on. Yeah. Uh, one of them goes out. Our our male goes out um, because he's our he's our mole. We're talking about cats, ladies and gentlemen. Right, but the, the two girls stay in, and my old girl also stayed in. They're full time in cats. Indoor. Yeah, we decided he wasn't outdoor. He was wild, and somebody captured him. And actually, he snuck into somebody's house while they were on vacation through the little, you know, pet door. And she came home. This was in. Uh, <laughs> Out like at the end of the 400, you know, East Aurora, and uh, he was on her couch with her other animals. <laughs> so my in-laws hooked, hooked uh, the cat up with Mary as a as a surprise for my birthday. Yeah. Oh yeah, boy, best present I ever got. But yeah, when you move into a new house, you can usually them in because they don't know outside at that location. Yeah, no oh, that would make sense. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, right. Ah, you gotta think like a cat, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I mean, once they, once they bring them to a new location, all of a sudden they've got so much to explore in the new house that they don't realize that there's an in and out there. Yeah. Until I married you. Such thing as the yeah. indoor cat. Yeah. 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 Three would come in. This is a great song. I remember we had a guest here. Or two would come in. We had a, well, somebody came here and brought um and now brought a, the, brought the a couple with them. I can't remember whose friends they were. And uh, the, the, the woman, the, the woman, like, she, she didn't sing, but she wanted to be a singer, you know, and she even had music on her phone, like, you know, like fake book stuff, you know, she, she's been wrestling with this, you know, you know, probably practicing on her own, and she never sang with anybody, you know, with a piano or anything, and she said, can we do this song, yeah, you know. She came up and like, she knocked me out. It was just, she had so much authenticity, you know. She just really had it. This is a Harry Warren song. Are the stars out tonight? I don't know if it's cloudy or bright.
Warren. Al Dubin from Dames. Nice to see Betty out there with us. Got to give you back the fly on the wall split screen. Sorry about that. You were looking at my back, which is probably my best side. It's Justine John. And she was not a flop. She was a big hit. On Lounge Academy. She's Justine John. She'll sell you a car. <laughs> and you won't know where you're going after that. There she goes, ladies and gentlemen. Justine Jop, everybody. How about another big round of applause for Justine Jop? talented percussionists here, Jeff, do we know? It's a few times when we're going out. Oh. It's, it's the other way around for us. 
If it takes forever, I will wait for you for a thousand summers. I will wait for you till we're back beside me, till I'm holding you, till I hear you sigh here in my arms. Anywhere you wander, anywhere you go, every day remember how I love you so. In your heart, holy watch, in my heart I know, forevermore I will wait for you. <laughs> The clock is ticking away the hours, one by one. Then the time will come when all the waiting's done. The time when you return and find me here and run. Straight to my waiting arms. If it takes forever, I will wait for you for a thousand summers. I will wait for you till you're here beside me, till I'm holding you, and forevermore sharing your love. It's nice to see Zach on both sides of the camera. He's examining. He's examining me. I'm not sure what he's going to do with that, but he's planning something. The sleepless nights, the daily fights. Quick toboggan when you reach new heights. I miss those kisses and I miss the fights. I wish I were in love again. The broken dates, the endless waits. The lonely loving and the hateful hates. Conversation with the flying plates. I wish I were in love again. No more pain. No more strain. Now I'm sane, but I'd rather be Gaga. Hold our fur. Caps and cur, the fine mismating of the him and her. I've learned my lesson, but I wish that I were in love again. The party is just getting warmed up, ladies and gentlemen. Did you cut that shirt? How about the lyric? The fate of Roma performing sales? Roma, Fate Roma, performing <laughs> scene. How's that for a lyric? Yeah, it's amazing. amazing. Did he copy? Did he copy that from you? He must have. He must have. That's one of the cleverest lyrics I've ever heard. I don't know if I want to be near Howard, though. Diana Woodruff. <laughs> I'm a fool. <laughs> Who wants you to move? Might as well do it in the key and sing. I'm a fool to want you to want a love that can be true. Who I would care for others too. I'm a fool to hold you. 
to fool to To seek a kiss, not mine alone. To share a kiss, the devil has no. I'm in time again. I don't know. I got I said you'd leave. I'd leave you. Time and time again. I went away. Signature thing here. Yeah. Here you go. I keep an emergency one here. Of Annabelle's and Lillian's. 
would be to capture me. But you had such persistence, you broke down my resistance, you fell, and it was swell. You're my queen and brave and handsome Romeo. How I wonder if I shall never, never know. It's not that you're attractive, but oh, how my love you acted when you came into view. I've got a crush on you. Sweetie Pie. All day and night time. Okay, we're done. Here. Here. That I could fall with so much emotion. Could you cool? Could you pair?
They did it like this. Why? Breathe a sigh. Every evening. Long before the springtime. And even though it's snowing, violets are growing. I know why. 
and so do you. Why breeze aside every evening, whispering your name as they do? Interesting thought. It's going to happen, I think. It's too good a song. You can't hide that. You know how everybody jumped on that last? That last is one of the greatest songs of all time now. You're right. You're right. But th this one, you know, this one outdid that last. They chose this one over that last. Did this, one, did this wind up on the cutting room floor? Yeah, it lasted. Oh, it did? Yeah. I didn't even realize it wasn't it. The first, it? Movie the first was, uh, one. Well, I must have made it in at some point because it well, says no. it's from orchestra they, they wise. They saved that last for the second movie because they said we have too many hits in this one. Oh, right. That's right. You told me that story. But the opportunity is there for I Know Why and so do you. I agree. Yeah. I was never spellbound. I wonder if they did the verse in the movie. I wonder if they even did the verse in the movie. Yeah. I was never spellbound by a star. What is there to moon glow when love has passed you by? Not by stars, but just by you. At last, my love has come along. My lonely days are over. Is this orchestra woods? It is. And life is like a song. But when 
Orchestra Wives. Thanks, everybody. Thank, thank you, Glenn Miller. Oh, sorry. Janice Jopp is out there now with this gentleman. She's left there with Barbara Fisher. Colin Lively, nice to see you. Welcome to Lounge Academy. We're here every Friday night from 7 to 15 to 11 o'clock. Exploring the Great American Songbook, as it's called nowadays. It used to just be called songs, right? Yeah, right. Now, now it's the Great American Songbook. Why do we play American so much? <laughs> Watching Lounge Academy, Lounge Academy, Lounge Academy with Nick and me. Thank you. Thank you, Lounge Academy. So many songs, I don't know where to, what to do next. called All My Mananas. We're going bilingual here. Thank you, Paul Kakoda. It was wonderful of you. All 
every night. How about another big round of applause for Paul Kakoda? He's been selecting many of the songs for the Lounge Academy. He's our flight engineer as we fly the Great American Songbook. Nick moves in, so the bases are almost loaded. That's what we say when all the chairs around the piano are full. What wonderful names out there in the cadet verse, cadet verse. Make us part of your Friday night lounge. Well, I noticed that when I started 
a slice over there and have it afterwards. I eat afterwards. Yeah. 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 With whipped cream. No, yeah, you have to run. Right. Yeah, thank you. Right. Right. So, so all of a sudden, so sometimes they don't. Then I go back out. It's a little bit of 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 a when you need someone to cheer you,
I can teach you how to do it. The trick is don't play with it. Yeah, I, guess, I guess so. This, this, I push that in. The little pony and everything. That's true because the pie's going to go over it. The pie's going over it. going to see it. There's a new one, Barbara Fisher. I won't send roses. Or hold the door. I won't remember which dress you My heart is too much in control. The lack of romance in my soul will turn you gray. So stay away. Forget my shoulders when you're in need. Forgetting birthdays. Is guaranteed, and should I love you, you'd be the last to know. I won't send roses and roses suit you so. is frantic, my temper's cross, <coughs> with words romantic, I'm at a loss, I'd be the first one to agree, that I'm preoccupied with me.
it's another Jerry Herman. These are from Mac and Mabel. That must have been a great show. I, I, I heard her do it. I love that people remember this. Yeah, she, she did the best, best one I've seen, Barbara Fisher. Sit down and join us, Kathy. I'll be tired of you when the stars grow tired of gleaming. When I am tired of dreaming, thank you so much. Wonderful. Have a safe trip home with those pies. It's nice knowing Barry's with us. I'll be tired of you when the stars grow tired of gleaming. When I am tired of dreaming, then I'll be tired. I know it's true when winds grow tired of blowing, grass is tired of growing, then I'll be tired. Birds refuse to sing. Beyond the years, the echo of my only love will still be whispering. Whispering. If my throbbing heart. Should ever stop repeating. Let it just tire of Then I'll be tired of you. That's what they tell you to do. It's Nick. It's Nick. Nick and Kathy. They're Buffalo's showbiz couple. They'll entertain you tonight. They can do comedy knockabout stuff. Can 
night, Kathy. Thank you so much. Thanks for bringing Nick. Have a nice week, Nick. Thank you. He didn't sing. He sang with you a couple of lines. Yeah, yeah, right there, he did. Was yeah, that counts. We'll punch him in. <laughs> He's a future singer. A future singer. You heard me. <laughs> this is like the uh, Quiet Hands musical. It's perfect acoustics. Is that right? Yeah, but you gotta be careful when you're in a situation like that. It's like social media. It's like Twitter. Yeah, 
checkpoints and you know they're threatening you they're not gonna let you if you lose a piece of paper they're not gonna let you back in the country ever <laughs> you know it's like who needs that I go over there to have fun not to worry that like my life's gonna be over <laughs> I mean I like Chinese food as much as the next guy you know but yeah at some point it's not worth the hassle why do that when I can come here you know, or go to my shop. It's Jack and Missy. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Jack. Keep up the good work. is back. David Vernon is back here in the house. David, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get a little piece of pizza and then because you're here and we've got some wonderful guests, we're, I'm going to be like psyched to do some more songs. This is where it gets good. This is from uh, Ricotta's is out in Orchard Park. And then they oh, they have a branch out there. That's, not well, that's where they started. Oh, okay. There are two out there. Oh, they started out there. Yeah. Yep. And then they went to Niagara? They went to Niagara, what, oh. two years ago, I think? Somebody? Oh. I've never had, I, well, I've had their pizza. It's Rick's Country Store is Ricotta's. <laughs> oh, OK. At least I think it's the same one. Yeah, I think it is. I'd like to thank. Probably not. Maybe they have different franchises. Maybe you can buy a franchise. I don't know. Maybe they're related and they're mad at each other. That's great. <laughs> it's like in the Louis, the footlong hot dogs and Louis Red Hots. And yeah, you keep, I remember at the Buffalo News, you'd step on these mine, you'd, you'd, there'd be these minefields and you'd step <laughs> on the wrong thing and offend people. The Buffalo Philharmonic is full of Are we being taped? We're live.
table together the tables for, for the open event gala. Oh, yeah. 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 They can't see me, can they? Yeah. We should go back there. <laughs> Those, of course, that's why they're tuned in. I like to have somebody else look at the oh, yeah, seating yeah. chart. Hang in there, David Vernon. Stick with us. I want to hang out with you. I'm reading this uh, oh, refueling with this delicious slice of pizza, courtesy of Ricotta's on Niagara Street, 716-768-8966. If you'd like to order a pie, tell them we sent you. <laughs> they know how I like it, and that's the way they make it. Delicious. Should have done it. Yeah, we still should. We should now that we can. Yeah. Have a big cello come out with the teeth or something. And a four So I like that. And a forward written by the ghost who lives in the Milanese. always struck me as just the, the, the whole film I think is so cool because it's it, it's conducted it's such an all star it's such a, a world yeah. what it ought to be and, you know over the years being from Buffalo you wouldn't think it's it really would be class. Class. it the is people, I mean the history of it is amazing the people who have been associated with it who have played with it it's it's you know it's more than we think you you think we would have you know that makes it funnier I mean because you think with Rochester with Ted the Eastman School but they can't begin to no, that's yeah, not at all. I mean, it's just, just, just for some reason. Ricotta's Pizza, ladies and gentlemen. 768 8966. Thanks again for the courtesy. Sorry about that. Well, all roads lead to uh, football. Jeff Delina. in a while to make sure it's working, make, to make sure it's, that video and audio. So many options. Not in 
not enough keys. <laughs> Watching the epilogue of Lounge Academy, we call this one of my favorite parts of the show. When, he, when a lot of the acts have packed up and left, and we're sitting around just really relaxing and basking in the Up in arms. 
So I flip a little too until I'm holding you. What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle. We can live like kings. If you remember your mind, then I've got a world that you've got a world that we we've got a world that swings. Janice Schlau's got a world that swings. We've got a world that swings. Okay, Barry, thanks for hanging out with us. It's been great. Do everything they tell you, you know that. Tell everything you tell you, I mean. so happy with the surprise that you sent us telling us how much you like Lounge Academy and uh, putting a gift card in for some booze. Here's what she wrote. Isn't this nice? Marion Howard. Mary, you got her name first. Girls first. You should know how much I enjoy your Club on Friday evenings. Such a welcome rest between baking and cleaning. Me, I just don't clean. Or opening prosit on the weekend. I mean, closing a bottle of booze coupon for, which is great because I know exactly what we we knew what to buy with that, and we're gonna and enjoy it and toast you. But uh, it made me so happy that, um, you know, that you'll, you like what we're doing here and it helps you, helps you be successful with, with your restaurants. You know, she's schlepping stuff and watching us and get the work done. I know how that, I was, I've been self-employed my whole life, you know, so I can, I can relate. Like I used to listen to John Otto all night, you know, while I was working. I'm not putting myself in the John Otto class. That's impossible. But it kind of makes me think of that, you know, when you're working away and you can still have fun. So thank you for that thoughtful thing. You really you have no idea how, how much I enjoy that type of thing. And some enchanted that overlooks Delaware Avenue with someone sharing all the lights, delightful chat of this and that, cocktails for two. It's going to be Mary and me drinking the booze you bought us. But can, well, we, I can barely read this with my glasses. That's okay, though. 
enjoy a cigarette. Any song with a cigarette is good for some reason. Do some exquisite chestnut, whatever that is. Two hands are sure to meet underneath. Service with cocktails for two. But my heart will be. I can't read this. Kisses. We'll be so glad we both alive. All began at Wounds Academy. That's Janice's theme song. Every pianist in town plays that in or out in, in and out of the room. Everybody knows that. Here's one to all yeah, the authors. I, I don't know, I can't think stuff because I've Who has so not written a book, yeah, right? So In our circle, everybody just writes and writes and creates. This goes out to the writer of orchestra. If they ask me, I couldn't write a book. Can you help me with this argument we're having? What did this place used to be? About the way you walk and whisper and look. I could write the preface of how we met so the world would never forget. And the simple It's just to tell them that I love you a lot. And the world discovered as my book ends how to make two lovers a friend. Garage is watching. Thank you, Janice, for that much applause. Back at you. Pete's Garage. You'll never guess where I ran into tonight after all these years. I ran into Todd. I mean, Hank. I haven't seen him in years. He looks great. He really made my day, made my week, year, decade. Changed a bit. We had a ball. Saw him over at the Statler. I get no kicks from champagne. Your alcohol doesn't thrill me at all. So tell me why should it be true? I get a kick out of you. 
Some get a kick from that expensive cocaine. Good thing I'm too cheap. I'm sure that if I took even one sniff, it would bore me terrifically too. I get a kick out of you. I get a kick every time I see you standing there before me. I get a kick, though it's queer to me. You obviously don't adore me. I get no kicks from a play. Great to see Jim out there, sir. Flying so high with some well in the sky. This my idea of nothing at all. I get a kick out of Jim. I like these after hours tunes. Smoky room. Yeah, that's my son. Bunch of drunk chicks with me. <laughs> Piano. <laughs> We're downtown. Something about being downtown is just kind of exciting, isn't it? Even if there's nothing going on. Which there always is. There is. There was a big protest going, I guess, when we, some people came in, said there was a big, hope they weren't protesting us. Who had a protest? Earlier this evening, some of the guests uh, mentioned there was a big Niagara Square. We should have set up our Niagara Square protest supply booth. Dot com. I don't know why they protest there because they, they'll, they'll protest there like on, on the weekend in Niagara Square, right? It's where you go to protest. And there's yeah, nobody for nobody miles. Nobody sees it. There's nobody yeah, working. Nobody there's nobody it. there. I know. It's, it's like a dress and, rehearsal or something. It's funny at St. Anthony's Church every once in a while we have a procession. Nobody sees us. You go around the circle and you go around the block. I see him, you know, so I, you know, I wave my arms. Oh, the St. Anthony's. Let him know I feel the. Yeah, I feel feel what they feel. Right, Margaret Fisher. Margaret Fisher. Here's a song I learned from Margaret Fisher. Still learning it from Margaret Fisher. It's such a beautiful song. It's impossible. the sun to leave the sky. It's just impossible. It's impossible. Ask a baby not to cry. It's just impossible. And I hold you. Oh, sir, to me. How cool is that? And I feel you. Yes, they have the Feel you going through. 
Count the seconds. That's my friend's church. Yeah, I like that church a lot. That I never think of you. My uncle was pastor there. Oh, how impossible. And the ocean keep from rushing to the shore. It's just impassable. If I had you, could I ever ask for more? It's just impassable. Thanks for teaching of it to me, Barbara Fisher. Here's something from Shaft. Jim Giannici. Jenkins is with us. 
Nice to see you, sir. The night. It's like a lovely tune. Beware. My foolish heart. How good. I ever can't stand more. Beware. My foolish heart.
Something deep inside You and me We weren't like the rest We once were the best Look what we've become Isn't it a crime? That we almost made it, but we wanted it all. Baby, you and me, we wanted it all. <laughs> What a great thing he was. Nothing could be better. TV on my Facebook wall every Friday night from 7.15 we run like the trains we've got a real tight schedule 7.15 to 11 or else was doing very well. The world was fine as far as I could tell. Suddenly I met you and I dreamed of gay amour. Dawn I woke up singing sentimental overture. 
this heart of mine is dancing gaily now I taste the wine of real romancing now crazy world has taken on a wonderful design as long as life endures it's yours this heart of mine this heart of mine To it. Let's try this one. I took one look at you. That's all I meant to do. And then my heart stood still. Connecticut Yankee. Oh, I remember there was a famous story when I was a kid that my sister said I found this other man when I went in a priest's house that must be one of the house. 
Marcy and Maggie and Mary. My name is Howard. Together we're the Lounge Cadets. Where did this four hours go? Plus the hour I did at the Statler before that. They just went, went up like, seemed like moments. You guys made it so much fun. See you next week at 7.15, and we'll do it all again. We invite our guests to stick around while I clean. I'll Keep Mary clean. company. Howard, clean, buddy, I clean. Uh, we do not upset this apple. I do everything. I wear all the hats. I don't make the pies, though. But you make the donuts. I make the donuts. One at a time. Lovingly. Thank you, Barbara Fisher. Ryan made it. made it a lot of fun. I'd like to invite Jason and Nicholas to join us again next Friday. We start at 7.15 and you can tune in and we do all the old songs from the great masters well we don't do them all there's not enough time in a lifetime to do them all look at all these books how voluminous it is so many songs Oh, they were from it's a we're they were from a club in Ohio, a men's club. Oh, I didn't even know that. They were from a club in Ohio. A men's club in oh, Ohio. Oh, yes. oh, if those seat cushions could talk. <laughs> It's best like in you know, a like a windstorm because then you can appreciate it. Like, because like there's no creaking or anything. It's just it's like a rock. They are just like Except that room because that's there's a roof over that a flat roof over the room over there, so you can hear things hitting it and stuff. If it weren't for that, it would be totally quiet. So Orchard Park now. I am. Orchard Park. Yeah. I've heard of Orchard Park. It's not too far now, the construction's so good. I read in some newspaper the other day, it used to be called, it used to be East Hamburg. It did? Oh, I didn't know that. It was East Hamburg. I did, I did not know that. Linda Appleby, did you know that, that Orchard Park used to be called East Hamburg? Way back. Way back. Well, how far back does that go? 1800s? Yeah, this wasn't Delaware Avenue. This was called, what was this? All the streets had different names originally. They did, they did yeah. Yeah, you got Batavia Street, which is Broadway. If Brian, Brian Higgins changed all the names of the street. <laughs> he, just, he just can't stop making improvements. <laughs> Watching the end of Lounge Academy. Every part of Lounge Academy is my 
favorite part. This is the smoky part. There really isn't any smoke, you gotta imagine that, but there should be smoke. At the end of the night, yeah. In the lounge, yeah. Yeah. We'll have to get some like health smoke to pipe in. Do they make something called health smoke? Dry ice. <laughs> <laughs> vape. We'll get some I mean, vape. I don't even know what vaping is. <laughs> it makes big clouds of smoke, though. You see some of these guys vaping, vaping. walking around. They do it here, you know, and um, it's it's smokier than. You can't even see their faces. Oh, yeah, yeah it's like a choo-choo train. It's kind of neat. <laughs> Good, good question. No yeah, they used to, the first, like, they tried to make them look like cigarettes, right? I have yeah, one, yeah. Like pipes and, and, and the, um, the tip lit up. What, like, glow? Oh, oh, the tip even lit. A vaping thing? Well, I don't think there was one of those candies. It was like rolling uh, your yeah, toaster yeah, up in a cigarette oh, paper. It's electric. electric. It's like taking your, your toaster and rolling it up in your easy wires. I still have that. 60s, you 60s people will know what I'm talking about there. It's so funny, you can't buy candy cigarettes anymore. I guess I know. You can buy them a little box. You can't buy candy cigarettes? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. What's they care. Uh, yeah, yeah, they look like cigarettes. Yeah, they look like cigarettes. Yeah, and you get them. There was not even a Christmas day. Yeah, so we can, and I have to say, it never made me want to smoke real cigarettes. I didn't care. I thought it was funny. All the vices yeah, should have the, the toys to go Christmas with it. Time. So that kids can, you know, learn about it. The wax bottles, yes, I remember those. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Rock candy, that stuff was helpful. Solid crystals of sugar. <laughs> With a choking string going through. It was great for Den the dentist was the sponsor of that. Unless you went to, what was his name? The dentist was kind of scary, but what was his name? Oh, Dr. Hayes. He gave us apples. Oh, yes. He was giving you apples. And one apple and one little. Without razors. Without razors. Yeah. That probably never yeah. happened even yeah. once, you know? Shopping bags or something, yeah, right? Yeah, remember that? You'd come out and we had a huge plastic pump gun. <laughs> so I think you got to get out of the hole. invite you to stop back again <laughs> next okay, week. A lot of trick or treaters we'll do I it again. Right here on my <laughs> Facebook wall, we call it WBIG TV. And my name's Howard. With Mary, my wife, and co-host, Mary Clins Goldman. But no one pays attention to me at all. I'm right next door. And a few times over the years, but not anymore, to tell the truth. I, I've had candy and I've been ready, but I... And we'll, uh, we'll see you next week. So I think part I'm going to send was, I'm on Amherst Street, us off into the ether with my Street. finger that has the power yeah, to kid, not only create music, but I could, I could destroy it. Remember, we didn't go on streets with it. I'm going to do that right now. You could do. Yeah, oh. it wasn't worth our while. You know, because you'd <laughs> we'll send you guys some. Maybe there were doubles. 
I things. Go over the street and you could, like when I was at Norwood last year, I a little fireworks display of ten or eleven icons, fingers, and hearts. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I haven't eaten eight dollars. And now I'm going to do the dishes <laughs> because Rich Sellers is off tonight. I ran out of candy. He'll be back then, next I, week. A couple times I've had maybe one or two trick or treaters, but then normally I just get none. I don't. 